with the IMT system, it's got a simulated glass cockpit and you can carry out all the standard functional tests for avionics for navigation, so ILS, VOR, and ADF, radar, so all of those functionalities are there. You can scroll through your HSI screens, ADI and such. So it provides a modern example of aircraft capabilities in the avionics systems. It provides hands-on capabilities, particularly within the cockpit on the head-up display, the HUD, also the MFDs. Uh, they can see instruments moving as the aircraft's changing its position, say on a compass swing. They can also watch the engine monitor panel. You can see the changes in engine revs and TDT within that as well. They have all the functional switches also on the comms. So to get a system up and running, they need to flick the ADF switch from the off position to the on position. Uh, same with the INU. With an engine run, they control the engine speed through the throttle. It has audio indication, so sounds will come up on the headset indicating that there's an error. So within the MFDs, on the screens, they have a maintenance mode and a status mode. So those modes will indicate any failures that are occurring and where that failure is located. So error codes are shown and the student can then look up the error codes and find the fault and do an R&I from there on. So on the IMT airframe, we have line replaceable units or LRUs. These LRUs can be used to carry out, remove and install procedures. Uh, they also have capabilities in some of the units to have faults placed within them. Also, uh, remove and install procedure can be carried out on the battery at the back here as well. So within the nose cone here is the radar scanner and this has capability of being removed so this scanner can be removed and the waveguide also being removed as well. As far as safe in the aircraft, the trainee can check that all the covers are in place as uh, required. They can also check that the pins in the ejection seat and the MDC for the canopy, those pins are also in position. They can also do the switch check and check that the batteries are off so there's no power applied to the aircraft. At the back, they have two batteries so they can actually remove the electrical connector to the battery and know that there's never going to be power applied to the aircraft. There's also a battery power interlock switch so they can switch that off to the off position. So with the IMT system, there's a set of publications that relate closely to aircraft manuals. But there are both physical and digital copies. So for the student to operate the IMT correctly, they should be following the procedures within that manual and noting down any errors or correct functions as they go. The benefits of IMT is that it's smaller in size than an actual aircraft, so it's easier to fit more within a uh, space. It's also cheaper, so there's less expense involved. The systems are hardened in a way, so with the LRUs for remove and replacements, it can be done several times without damaging the aircraft. Parts are available, and the, the glass cockpit is an up-to-date emulation of a real aircraft cockpit.